Investment in Africa by country is at all-time high. Eastern African countries have increased investment in infrastructure projects over the last decade, with Tanzania leading the way in terms of value and number of projects that broke ground in recent years. Improving the transportation infrastructure is a key priority for the government of Tanzania, since the nation's roads, ports, railways and airport infrastructure is critical for the country to improve its internal and external trade and commercial activities. Moreover, the sector's further development goes hand in glove with improvements in the energy sector as Tanzania strives to become a middle-income country. The Tanzania government under the leadership of the late President John Magufuli saw the implementation of their national five-year development plan, which aims to promote industrialization for economic growth and human development. Under this plan, the government is implementing several projects, which we will highlight the 10 most impressive of these projects in this video. Before we continue, take a moment to like this video and also subscribe to our channel if you are new here. So without further delay, here are the 10 most impressive mega projects in Tanzania. Number 10, Dar es Salaam Rapid Bus System, Phase 2. The Dar es Salaam Bus Rapid Transit is a bus rapid transit system that began operations on May 2016 in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. The transit system consists of six phases. The construction phase 1 of the BRT system runs for 21 kilometers from Kamara to Ubungo ending at Kivukoni, Morocco. Construction of the first phase began in April 2012 and was completed in December 2015. Funds for the second phase were secured in October 2015. The second phase will cover approximately 19 kilometers from Kilwa to Kawawa South via Kivukoni and is estimated to cost around $160 million. The African Development Bank agreed to fund $141 million for the project, while the remaining funds came from the government. Construction for the project began in June 2019 and was expected to be in operation late last year. Funding for the third phase was provided by the International Development Association. The construction will take place from Gongola Mboto to city center, including part of Uhuru Road from Tazara all the way to Karayaku Jerizani. Construction is set to begin this year. Number 9, New Dodomum Salado International Airport. Tanzania has announced the construction of a new international airport which will be built in Salado, 12 kilometers from Dodoma. The project, which is part of the East African Nations Program Infrastructure Expansion, will include a passenger terminal, runway and related infrastructure. The new airport project expected to be completed in four years, will have a capacity to handle 1 million passengers annually, and will have a runway of just over 2 kilometers in length. The funding package for the project comprises a $198.6 million loan from the African Development Bank, $23.5 million from the African Development Fund, and $50 million in co-financing from China's Africa Growing Together Fund, which the African Development Bank manages. Number 8, Rusumo Hydroelectric Power Project. The Rusumo Hydroelectric Power Station, also known as the Rusumo Power Station, is a hydropower plant under construction with initial planned capacity installation of 80 megawatts when completed. The project involved the construction of a dam with run of river design. A more expensive 90 megawatts reservoir design was considered before being abandoned in favor of an 80 megawatts project with a smaller environmental impact and an estimated cost of $300 million, compared to $400 million for the initial project. The power station is on the Kajera River, along Rwanda's border with Tanzania and approximately 2 kilometers downstream of the tri-point, where the two countries share a common border with Burundi. The World Bank announced in August 2013 that it had approved loans totaling $340 million for the project. In November 2013, the African Development Bank also approved an additional loan of $113 million towards the project. The project is scheduled for completion later this year. Number 7, Dar es Salaam Port Expansion. The Dar es Salaam port is currently being expanded at the cost of $421 million. The expansion will allow the port to receive larger vessels able to carry up to 19,000 containers. As of July 2020, 80% of the construction has been completed and the estimated commissioning of the project is scheduled for later this year. 
The project will enable the Tanzania Port Authority to increase the container through output to 28 million tons a year from around 20 million containers currently. The port will be able to handle ships with more than 304 meters from the current 204 meters. Number 6. Mtwara Fertilizer Plant. The Mbalia and Petrochemical Company, a Tanzanian company that was specifically formed to design, build and operate a fertilizer manufacturing factory in the Mtwara region of Tanzania, using natural gas as raw material. When completed, the plant will be the largest fertilizer manufacturing factory in Africa, with capacity of 3.8 million metric tons of product annually. The project was supposed to start in 2016 through a joint venture of the Tanzania Petroleum Development Corporation with several foreign funding companies. However, a deal could not be struck with the government. The Petroleum Upstream Regulatory Authority said at the end of 2020 that the fertilizer plant that requires a potential investment of $1.9 billion is on. Still, deals are yet to be agreed upon for the project to finally commence. Number 5, Julius Nyerere Hydropower Project. The Julius Nyerere Hydropower Station is a 2,115 megawatts hydroelectric dam under construction across the Rufiji River in eastern Tanzania. The power station is expected to produce 5,920 gigawatts per hour of power annually. The construction of the $2.9 billion project began in 2019 and is expected to be completed by the end of next year. The project is being undertaken by Arab contractors and Al-Suwati Electric, both of Egypt, and overseen by Tanzanian engineers. In April 2019, the Tanzanian government made an upfront payment of $309 million, representing approximately 15% total cost of construction. The project is 40% completed as of June 2020. The 134 meters arched concrete dam is expected to create a reservoir lake, 100 kilometers in length, measuring 1,200 square kilometers, with 34 billion cubic meters of water. The dam will be the largest by installed capacity in East Africa and among the largest in Africa, comparable to Egypt's Aswan High Dam. The 2115 megawatts Julius Nyerere hydropower project is expected to transform the country through generation and supply of reliable electricity for both domestic and industrial use. Number 4. Hoima Crude Oil Pipeline Project. The East Africa Crude Oil Pipeline route is about 1,443 kilometers long project under construction, requiring over 500,000 tons of imported equipment and over $3.5 billion of investment. The crude oil pipeline runs in Kabul, Hoima, in Uganda, and extends south to the Changalini Peninsula near Tanga Port in Tanzania. The government of Uganda selected the pipeline route with the lowest cost yet being the most robust pipeline layout. In Tanzania, the channel will traverse eight regions and 25 districts. The 1,443 kilometers long heated pipeline will transport oil from Hoima in Uganda through Chongolini in Tanga, Tanzania, to the world market. Tanzania will get a 60% share of the profits to be accrued from the pipeline project because about 80% of it will lie on Tanzania's land. Number 3. Tanzania Standard Gauge Railway. The Tanzania Standard Gauge Railway is a railway system under construction, linking the country to the neighboring countries of Rwanda and Uganda, and through these two, to Burundi and the Democratic Republic of Congo, as part of East African Railway Master Plan. The new Standard Gauge Railway is intended to replace the old, inefficient meter gauge railway system. The government is constructing the new electric railway line using domestic resources from Dar es Salaam to Morogoro and Dodoma, about 700 kilometers. The whole projects cover a distance of about 2,707 kilometers, with three branches from Dar es Salaam to Tabora Kagoma at 1,251 kilometers, Tabora to Mwanza at 379 kilometers and Kalayua to Mpanda, which is 210 kilometers. The ongoing project is expected to reduce time and freight for cargo destined to neighboring countries like Rwanda, Burundi, Uganda, and Democratic Republic of Congo, when completed. Most of the groundworks for the multi-billion dollar Tanzania SGR project have been completed, such as the electrifications, culverting, earthwork and bridges by over 80%. 
Once completed, the Tanzania Standard Gauge Railway project will cover 2,707 kilometers and will cost an estimated $7.5 billion over the next five years. The passenger train will have a speed of 160 km per hour, while the freight train will have a top speed of 120 km per hour. Number 2 Bagamoyo Port The Bagamoyo Port is set to be constructed in Bagamoyo, Tanzania, after agreement was initially signed in 2013 and work starting in 2018. However, in 2019 the late president of Tanzania, Magufuli and his government, suspended the Chinese funding of the $10 billion Bagamoyo port project, in the grounds of being exploitative and awkward. Renegotiation with China Merchants Holdings International was initiated in October 2019, where the late president released a five-point agenda, which included shifting of the 99-year lease to 33 years. The Bagamoyo port is planned to be one of the largest government infrastructure projects in the country. The port and its affiliate industrial zone is meant to address congestion at the old port and support Tanzania to become East Africa's leading shipping and logistics center. The port should be able to handle 20 million containers annually once it is fully completed. Number 1. Lakongo Makinga Liquefied Natural Gas Project the Tanzania Liquefied Natural Gas Project is a planned liquefied natural gas processing plant in Tanzania. The plant would be located on approximately 2,071 hectares in Lakongo village in the town of Lindi on the Indian Ocean coast, approximately 460 kilometers, by road, south of Dar es Salaam. Work on this plant is expected to start in 2022. The Lakongo Makinga liquefied natural gas plant will have the capacity to produce 10 million tons per annum of liquefied natural gas. Upon completion, the project will be the most expensive liquefied natural gas plant in the region, and it is expected to cost $30 billion. The timeline for completion has been set out to be 2028. Tanzania has over 57.54 trillion cubic feet of natural gas in its reserves, some of which are already used for power generation and running power plants. Once completed, the LNG plant is expected to contribute about 7% towards the country's economic growth. So there you have it. Those are the 10 most impressive mega projects in Tanzania. If you enjoyed this video and want more definitive information about trends and mega construction projects in Africa, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos.